So this is just an update. Uh, NPH Northern Platinum Holdings. I made a video suggesting this was a buy at about 174, 174 rand. Uh, I did a, another video a couple of days ago, which unfortunately I couldn't upload, uh, looking at this drop that we had and suggesting that this this drop this drop is is still within our analysis doesn't change anything and actually what we saw was after that drop a strong impulse and a correction so once this was broken or at least what we suggested was once this was broken is to get into a buy at this level potentially which is a lot better and unfortunately before I was able to post that video we've got the sharp increase so I uh, just I suppose a recap would be that Northern Platinum Holdings is still a good buy and this is a good sign for us that we are in going in the right direction with Northern Platinum Holdings that's, that's the one so we've got a very good feeling about Northern Platinum Holdings at and T. Let's have a look at the weekly chart. All right. So what we're looking at here is a strong impulse and some type of correction. So the type of correction that we're looking at is the tricky part right so we've got an a b c however this doesn't seem like a full correction mostly because um this a and this b or mostly the b this is very sharp and usually you'd see a b wave go a lot slower so the second uh step would then be to look at an a and a one two three which acts as a B and then a C, right? So that would be your A, B, C. That makes one correction. From there you get your next impulse down. So that's the basic analysis. What we want to do is to catch the C wave of this A, B, C. We want to catch the C wave. So the question is when does the C wave start, right? So if we go down into the lower time frame this is what we're looking at right got a bit of an impulse right either we could be looking at uh, this as a correction in which case we'd be going down from here that's one option or this is an impulse we've got one two three and from there we've got upside right those are our two options my suggestion put a buy order in at this price level that's at about at about 21.56 dollars uh, buy order the thinking is that we will not breach this level again unless this correct this correction is valid and we'd be looking for upside from it. so the Recommendation here is buy order at 21.54. That's for AT&T on the 24th of July 2022. So let's see how that unfolds. And then lastly, Wells, Wells Fargo. Right, let's look at the weekly. So this is what we've got on the weekly. We're looking at a, a running flat. All right, we've got A, B, C. That's your running flat and upside from there. As you can see, this upside has already started and we want to buy it once this correction is completed. So, if you look at the daily chart, essentially what I'm looking at here is an ending diagonal. Right? Uh, essentially, 
but our ending diagonal and a break out of this ending diagonal is a buy signal so I've got I would buy it at this level it's a bit I'm a bit skeptical about this one to be honest um, however we do have good divergence we've got let's look at the weekly there's our divergence right we've got very good divergence over here on the weekly chart so I would buy it and watch the stochastic um, and be prepared to to close if it breaks this low um, potentially a better place to get in would have been on the break of this got your impulse and the break of this correction right that's a pretty good one um, but I don't think it's too late to get into this one so those are my that's my analysis for for now um, watching those three and we'll see how it goes